If you want to start a boat project but it intimidates you, don't let it. Find me on Patreon and we can get past it. What is up everyone? We now have the Illumicraft Competitor 175 back in the garage for a series of short modifications and slight tweaks. I think this will be a very useful playlist to anybody who already has a boat and wants to do more to it. We have a lot of cool things to show you. Stay tuned, starting now. Check that out, guys. What is that? Oh, is that the ladder? It's the ladder. Oh, sweet. Yep. Oh, yeah, look at that. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, take out this panel and we're going to put a recessed tray. Tyler's got this one tray. It's pretty sweet. It's uh, it's not as deep as the other ones. It's only about a, a two inch drop. And that's perfect for what we needed to do. Honestly, all of mine are only two inches in a drop. And so this is a comfort troll. You got a little drain tube right there. It's pretty dope. We're gonna install that thing because there's rod tubes under here and this is exactly what we need. Okay. There she it is, was guys. It. That was it. It's totally gonna clear. It clears without even the, the thing on. It's gonna be clear even better because it's got that bevel. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay, what do we do about the drain tube? What do you mean the drain tube? Oh. Where, where does that go? How are we gonna do that? You can't gonna do that. Water in here, so we're gonna have to. Unless you want to drill a hole right in there. You're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Who's yeah. gonna have to? The back. Right there? Yeah, probably right. All right. Too much. No, it's fine. That's the only place it can go. Or it can go a little bit farther up. There, I told you. It was a void. Dude, that's like right on the money. On the money right there. That is just barely gonna clean it. It's tracing this for the, the cut. Yeah, we're gonna cut this. All right, so this is going to be pretty cake. It's going to be a pretty short video because this is not hard to do. It even gave us its own little, sh you know, stencil. So we put that on there and traced it with a marker and cut it right out. This terminal panel was just covering the little weird rod locker tubes. Those lock rod locker tubes were kind of weird. They were like pre-molded, like not even tubes. It was, but they were tubes. Kind of strange. But this was pretty easy to cut out. Just had to trace it, do some refined cutting. And then the whole thing just kind of pops in there. We obviously also had to reseal the ends before we permanently There's stuck that foot pedal tray in there. There's the tray. I really like this idea because most of the boats that I mod out either have a pit stow or they have rod tubes going right there. And it is a pain to try and install a four inch pedal tray in there. Yeah, the four inch pedal tray will mount your entire pedal flush sometimes that's not always a good thing either it's not a great thing for it to be all the way on top of the deck but it's not a good thing sometimes for it to be all the way flush we're going to show you a real quick trick here we took a little pick you can get these anywhere and you as you tighten the screw you kind of pull the carpet out that way when you put the screw in to this 20 ounce it more or less disappears if you don't do this it'll show forever but we noticed that they did do that because when we tried to put the screws back in, they showed like immediately. They were like, hey, look at me. But before you couldn't see them, but had to find them. So we figured that out. That's what you do to hide the screws in 20 ounce on wood panels. We got a whole lot of other things to bring to you guys. So stay tuned. We will be running packs of LEDs throughout this entire boat, along with wiring and relays and some other cool stuff. So stay tuned.